Hello friends, welcome back to India for IAS current affairs series. Topic of this video is Point Nemo. In this video, we are going to study about why Point Nemo was in use, what it is exactly, where it is located, that is geographical location, and the importance of Point Nemo climatologically and ecologically, and also from examination point of view, how the question can be asked on Point Nemo, followed by one prelims practice question. This topic it is uh, important with respect to PLIMS 2025. It is a PLIMS exclusive topic and also this topic is important for other group C exams and SSC exams. Recently, Point Nemo was in use because as a part of the Navika Sagar Parikrama 2, the Indian naval sailing vessel Tarini. So, this vessel it crossed the Point Nemo during the global circum navigation. So, this was achieved by two Indian women Navy officers and their name is Lieutenant Dilna K and Lieutenant Rupa as a part of this Navika Sagar Parikram. So, they crossed the uh, Point Nemo during the global circum navigation. So, coming to the Navika Sagar Parikrama too. So, it is an expedition. So, it is aiming to complete the double handed circum navigation via three great capes. So, what are three great capes? Three great capes are Cape Horn, Cape of Good Hope, and Cape Levin. These are the three great capes. So, this Sagar Parikrama 2 it wants to complete the double handed circumnavigation via these three great capes. And it is also important from the examination point of view to know where all the three capes are located. So, this Cape Horn it is located in South America, Cape of Good Hope in Africa. So, it is located in Africa and Cape Levin, it is located in Australia. So, in the exam, they may ask match the following questions or which of the following pairs are correctly matched. So, this is also important from examination point of view. Now, we will discuss what is Point Nemo and its geographical location. Point Nemo, it is a oceanic pole of inaccessibility. So, it is located in the South Pacific Ocean. It is the point farthest from any land on the earth. So, what is Point Nemo? It is a oceanic pole of inaccessibility and this is located in Southern Pacific Ocean. Here we can see this is the Pacific Ocean. It is located in Southern Pacific Ocean and it is farthest point from any land on the earth. So, here we can see here we have Australia, here we have Antarctica, then Antarctica, then here we have uh, South America. So, it is located for this point from any of the land and the nearest island to this point Nemo is Ducey Island. Now, we will discuss why the point Nemo is called as oceanic pole of inaccessibility. So, it is called as oceanic pole of inaccessibility because this point Nemo is considered the most isolated place on earth because it is the farthest from point from any of the land and the name Nemo. It comes from the Latin word for no one. So, this reflects the extreme isolation of the point. Now, we will discuss the importance of the point Nemo with respect to spacecraft disposal and oceanographic studies. So, this point Nemo, it has been used for the spacecraft disposal because, because of the remoteness of the area. And this ensures that the debris does not pose any risk to the human life or populated areas. The point Nemo, it is located far away from the any of the land and it is used to dispose the space junk or the satellites which are decommissioned. For example, there was a satellite called Mir and it has been decommissioned. It was no longer used and it has been deorbited, deorbited and it has been re-entered to the earth atmosphere so that it will burn up in the atmosphere and the remaining junk, it is made to fall at the nearest uh, near to the point Nemo because near point Nemo there were no population and there is no land. Now, we will discuss the oceanographic studies. So, why it is important uh, the point Nemo is important for oceanographic studies. So, the point Nemo is part of the South Pacific gyre. So, in oceanic uh, waters there will be two gyres one is northern gyre another one is southern gyre. So, for example, this is equator and if this is the Pacific ocean. So, the water what happens, the oceanic currents, they flow continuously and they will create the 
oceanic gyres so here we can see in this fashion they will create some oceanic gyres in southern ocean it will be like this so if we consider this as a pacific ocean in pacific ocean there will be two gyres northern pacific ocean gyre and southern pacific ocean gyre so this point nemo is a part of the southern pacific gyre so it is also important to study the nature and feature of the south pacific gyre and also its role in global oceanic circulation point nemo has important role in global oceanic circulation and study of the ocean currents these ocean currents they in turn affect the climatic patterns so it is also important to study the climatic patterns all over the world now we will discuss the environmental and ecological aspects of the point nemo the first one is marine life even though the point nemo is located in a remote area this point nemo it has it is home to the deep sea life so even though we cannot find any like uh, life which we can see in the coastal area like corals fishes the deep sea life we can witness in the point nemo point nemo is home to the deep sea life the second one is clarity of water the point nemo it has it is, uh, the biological activity at the point nemo is very minimal because of this and uh, the minimal human interference the oceanic water at the point nemo is very clear so it is one of the clearest oceanic water on the earth also the point nemo is a remote uh, area so it is uh, far away from any of the land there is no direct impact on human activity so there is no industries located and it doesn't affect any of the human activities directly or indirectly one more important significance of the point nemo is its maritime navigation significance point nemo is being used in marine navigation even though it is located in far away place from the land so it is used by sailors and navigators to navigate their ships to the desired direction so for that it has been used as a reference point so this is all about point nemo why it was in use what is ins tarini what is sagar parikrama 2 then who were the two indian women naval officers who crossed the point nemo the ecological and climatological significance of the point nemo based on the topic that we have discussed so far that is point nemo here we have provided one prelims practice question the question contains four statements go through all the four statements and comment your answer the answer and detailed explanation for this question is available in the pdf handout which you can download by joining our telegram channel